shall. Don't cats like to be in trees? Oh look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Father? Oh, you can tell him I'm fine. Maybe he'll come and stay with us too. Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father. But I'm not going. She would be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. It seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. I like it when Kitty sings to me. It shall be done. It is begun. As you say. Father doesn't like cats, but he never met Kitty. Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? Very well. Kitty is my best friend. It is begun. It shall be done. I shall do it. It shall be done. I was thinking about the sun, silly. <laughs> Tell 
me a story. It shall be done. Yes. I can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty? What's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Betrayal! You will not take the girl! She is mine! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't! I'll do it. Sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolin Hard. If you still want that bloody thing. I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And of course, it is another mage. That is what it is. Yes, yes. Just my luck. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long. Many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be... Really, really boring. 
And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? Perhaps I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... Broken? Don't be ridiculous. Well, I wouldn't mind killing the birds. Those evil birds and their foul droppings. I could crush them all. Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply... What should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. You're welcome. It's good to have a purpose, you know. I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. This should be interesting. Oh, blast it. Yes. Blast and damnation. Yes. Horsefish, indeed.
Yes, its adventures are interesting, even if the chances for success are remarkably slim. It would be better to throw oneself off a cliff, I suspect. Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. Refreshing. Normally such words would be accompanied by the wave of a control rod. I shall remain as it asks. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. Oh. oh, that. Merely reflecting on the hopeless nature of the task in front of it. The most likely outcome is that it and its companions will become a stain on some rock for the Darkspawn to tread upon. I shall be moved to a single tear by the tragedy. Oh, how adorable. Such hope is sweet to see, if a bit alarming. What's that? Did it hear flapping wings? There may be pigeons nearby. We should be alert. <laughs> 